<laughs> What's up, everyone? How you doing, guys? We're here with a little bit of a post-game interview. Didn't know this was happening. Uh, Dean Brown here with me. Yeah, He's a great the, guy. Uh, the new and improved, good at battalion, Dean Brown. <laughs> Not so good at CS. Not so good at CS. Well, uh, you're probably still better. You're probably still better. Just throw that a little bit closer. I, I should, we should have uh, done this before. I'm yeah, sorry. We should have tested that's, this. That's on me. That's on me. Battalion things. That's perfect. That's perfect. So, guys, we've got Mark here. We're going to talk to him a little bit about the game, how it went down, and why it was so damn easy. Because, I mean, yeah. I was told coming in, it's easy Katka. Those are the words from Cinda himself, the top fragger on map number one. And yet, I mean, 13 to 11, 13 to 10, it's not like it was all plain sailing, was it? Uh, you know, we were just warming up. We wanted to play as many rounds as possible. That's why both maps were quite close. Um, we didn't want to let it go to overtime because that would have been, you know, there's a chance of losing it. But when we get to 12 first, play the rounds out, have a bit of fun, test some things, save our strats for the major or the final when we play someone Fair good, enough. possibly. Um, and, then, and then, yeah, on to the next one. i got to ask you, Mark. So coming into this tournament, I said Endpoint were my favorites to, uh, to win, just saying, you know. As they should be. Getting in those good books. Yep. Uh, who do you think you're going to face in the final? Based on um, the teams, you played everybody now, so. I, I don't know. I, like, I know it's probably the devs, but like who? who everyone, uh, well, the devs are the only team that beat us, apparently. Check the scores. 13-10 <laughs> on Manor House. Secret. <laughs> uh, I honestly don't know, because like, everyone seems to have beaten everyone in the groups, obviously True. apart from us, because we beat everyone. Um, but they're all beating each other. So it depends who shows up on the day. Like Avenue were pretty crap yesterday, to be fair. Um, not okay. what people expected out of them. And then today they're playing a hell of a lot better. Okay. Uh, London Esports had a bit of a slow start, and they lost a couple of maps to like Invictus. Then Invictus today lose to Avenue. Like it's all over the place. So London Invictus or Avenue, I think probably we're having the In final one of them. But yeah, probably London should win. Um, okay. You know, because people think like they're the better team. But yeah, like. I think we got London next in the upper bracket. Yeah, I think they just uh, two old Avenue, so I think, what was the score? I think we'll be going to that. I'm not sure. Uh, Anyone? I, I just saw them Anyone over. scores? Do no. we know scores for Avenue? No, we don't. Uh, well, that, yeah, that's, we'll that's another that easy game. And then um, hopefully in the final, like they show up to play properly and we can maybe get one good game out of this LAN. Um, <laughs> and then, yeah, we'll, you know. You know what I love about, I mean, we've, we've done, what, three other events uh, together. I've interviewed you at all three. And I feel like the thing that always shines through is just the modesty, you know? It's like, take some credit, Mark. Come on. Like, you yeah, guys are good. You, know, we're, you don't got to be... We're, we're humble. You um, are. You are. You know, we're thankful that Endpoint keeps sending us to these things. We're thankful that um, a lot of the players that have a lot of potential keep folding, changing teams, changing lineups. Like, yeah, well. oh, this guy got 12 kills in that game, which is why we lost against Endpoint when that guy enabled them to do that well. And then they realize that after we beat them again the next LAN. Yeah. Um, so that might happen again after this LAN. Who knows? Um, but, yeah, it's just, you know... We just, just need a bigger player base so we can get some better players and more competition. Um, that's what we're really, really hoping to get. I mean, fair enough. Uh, but, but when we talk about shuffles, you, you've had a couple lineup changes yourselves. How, how do you feel like th this, is, uh, this has affected your team coming into this tournament versus some of the others? Well, it's not really affected us. Like, it's just business as usual for us. You know, we've got schedule. We practice a bit. Um, if people want to play us, sometimes we struggle to get games. But Yasko, you know, he wasn't feeling the game at the time. He didn't want to keep playing. We wanted to keep playing. So, yeah. you know, we couldn't keep just turning up for tournaments and losing. So we made a change. Uh, you know, it's great to see Yasko here because he's he's bloody good. Um, yeah. He was causing us some issues, um, but yeah, for us, it's not much of a change. The only change is like the Finnish guys talk a lot of Finnish. Finnish is a weird language, um, but <laughs> the you know, everyone on my team is sick, and I just sort of sit there and like think what the other team are doing. Uh, I'd probably whiff a lot of shots, and then someone like Reppy, like that that last map, I kept getting owned, and Reppy just killed everyone. So yeah. Finish, I mean, guys, you'll man. Take sick. You'll take it if they're giving it. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. When you look at uh, when you look at Endpoint now up against any of these guys, I mean, obviously you've won every game so far. Uh, it was thirteen ten against London, though. I, I didn't catch that map myself, but well, the the game against London was like that was the first game of uh, the day for us, and we're always like quite. It takes us a while to get going, so the first game yeah. of the day is always when we're weakest. Um, and to be fair, like that game, the servers, we had some server issues, so there's a lot of packet oh, loss. I remember, yeah. And then remember. there's rounds where you know we're like, ah, oh, shit, if we didn't have that issue, then we'd on the round. But you know, it's probably the same for them. Um, yeah, so absolutely. if we had to play the game again on a clean slate, I'd, who knows? But hopefully they, they play better than yesterday so we can have some close games. Okay. Um, what would you say, just one last question for you. You're coming up against London next, we, we presume anyways. Uh, what is your? What would you say like the main threat on London is for you guys? Uh, it's probably Max Strafe. Um, okay. You know, he's, he's an insane fragger when he gets going, when he's got his confidence. But yeah, it's similar to like the old CRG team where they had one or two players that could pop off, and if they didn't pop off, then they were just crap yeah um and i think it could be the same for london that if someone like dax or max doesn't start like fragging hard and get going and start getting loads of two kills three kills and opening up sites for them then they, d they generally struggle quite a lot um but you know we'll see maybe in an hour and a half's time i'll be like oops shouldn't have said <laughs> that but until then 
we'll keep having fun. We'll see. Well, this is Mark. He's won every land so far, and he's uh, he's not stopping just not, yet. Not Fragadelphia. Not Fragadelphia. Well, yet. I mean, that's that's NA. We've got lots of excuses, you know, and they don't use brain. I mean, your main thing is that you figure out what the other team are doing, and you can't do it for them because, I mean, they don't know what they're doing. Well, so. yeah, there's that. And then, you know, in at Fragadelphia, I didn't quite have um, the level of players that we have here. But, you know, we had yeah. fun. It was a fun trip. Come, come third. It was good fun. Yeah, absolutely. But every land that, that matters, you've won. So that's all. Well, uh, the only land that matters, yeah. The only land that matters. Well, we're going to throw things over to another break. When we come back, I think it's going to be yourselves taking on London. We'll confirm that in the little box right down below me. This is uh, Dean Brownie, as the, the card told me. I yep. usually call him Mark Horner Peng. What is it? Peng Doggy Dog P Dizzle. P. Diz, there's, Homer, there's a whole, Horner. There's a whole list of names. Yeah. Um, but prediction, 2-0, and then final, 2-0. And then next LAN, we win again. Um. <laughs> We're throwing yeah. out predictions for the next LAN. All right. That's uh, something you can only rely on, Mark, to do. We're going to throw things through a break, guys. When we come back, we'll be jumping into that game. Don't go anywhere. Mark, you're looking beautiful today. You're playing beautiful. Uh, thanks, man. I hope to see you continue when we move on to the next. We'll catch you guys back here in just a little bit. Don't go anywhere.